Hello everyone, welcome back to another video from Songs Biology. And in today's lecture, we are going to talk about MHC class 1, Major Histocompatibility Complex 1. So the Major Histocompatibility Complex type 1, and we are going to talk about the key component of this MHC class 1. We are going to talk about its structure, the function of MHC class 1, the antigen presenting role that MHC class 1 plays and also the clinical relevance and uh, the immunological response that the MHC class 1 is involved with. So all these queries will be addressed in this particular video. So let's start with the structure of MHC class 1 and here you can clearly see in front of your eyes is the MHC class 1 structure and here it's, it's, it says a very simple, very simple minimalistic drawing stating the cell, okay, the cell membrane, this is the cell membrane, right, and this is the MHC, the whole component here, the whole structure is with MHC class 1, okay. You can see there is only one single anchorage to the cell membrane here, okay. This is the side view of the MHC class 1. Now, in terms of the structure, there are a few points that I want you to understand and mention. The first thing is that they have two separate chains. They have a heavy chain and a light chain. The heavy chain here is the alpha chain. Okay, you can see this alpha chain, alpha 1, alpha 2 and alpha 3 encoded by genes such as HLA-A, HLA-B and HLA-C. Okay, so this HLA genes, they encode for the alpha 1, alpha 2 and alpha 3 heavy chain or heavy part units of the MHC class 1 molecule. Next, uh, it also contains, so I already mentioned alpha 1, 2 and 3 and they are membrane anchored. So basically, you can see the membrane anchorage is done by this alpha part of the MHC class 1 molecule. Alpha 1 connected to alpha 2 and 3. 3 is directly embedded to the cell membrane. Next one is the beta 2 microglobulin, this one, the beta 2 fragment, which is not anchored directly to the membrane, but indirectly it is in contact to alpha 1 and alpha 3, okay. So non-covalently associated to the alpha chains. So this attachment with alpha 1 and alpha 3 by this beta 2 microglobulin is via non-covalent interaction. And the peptide binding cleft or peptide binding groove is the place where the MHC molecule will showcase a peptide fragment. Now, this is formed by alpha 1 and alpha 2 domains. And remember, major histocompatibility complex's role is to showcase the fragment of peptide, be it endogenous, that is a self-origin inside the cell, or exogenous, that is the origin from outside, probably the fragment of a pathogen and they want to show it outside. For MHC class 1, the endogenous, patho endogenous fragment of peptide is, is showcased while in case of MHC class 2, exogenous or pathogen fragment of peptide is showcased. Okay, So this peptide binding cleft binds to very short peptides length of 8 to 10 amino acid long and they can showcase that peptide outside to the other immune system cells. Now, how exactly this MHC class 1 is expressed means what are the cell types where the class 1 MHC is found? It is expressed by every single nucleated cell of the body. So, any nucleated cell that means a cell that contains a nucleus have the capability to produce MHC class 1. But it is absent in red blood cell because they don't have any nucleus. No nucleus, no nucleus, no MHC class 1 in the red blood cell. The expression levels are very high in immune system cells, especially T cells and dendritic cells because there are cytotoxic T cells or cytotoxic T killer cells. They express the fragment of peptide to the outside. Okay, And uh, dendritic cells are also professional antigen presenting cells. So dendritic cell can express both MHC class 1 as well as MHC class 2. Now, the lower expression is found in liver and nerve cells. That is also very important. Sometimes they ask question from this. So, you may remember that it is more predominant in immune system cells like T cells and dendritic cells, while the MHC class 1 is very less expressed in liver cell and nerve cells. Now, functions of MHC class 1. I told you the, the role of MHC class 1 is to basically showcase a peptide which is endogenous in origin. So, basically antigen presentation is the primary role of MHC class 1. 
presents intracellular antigens to CD8 plus T cells. Okay, so these are CD8 plus T cells. They have their T cell receptor or TCR. CD8 plus T cells are also known as cytotoxic T cells. So basically, a virus infected cell or a mutated cell or a cell undergoing tumor genic properties those cells they, they take a fragment of their peptide and showcase that peptide to the cd8 plus t cells here they showcase it okay this is the role antigen presentation and also immune surveillance they enable cd8 plus t cells that is a cytotoxic t cells to detect the infected cell or malignant cell and initiate the apoptosis machinery to kill the cell and regulation of natural killer cells can also be done by MHC class 1 which inhibits the natural killer cells from attacking the healthy cells. So normally what happens is the natural killer cells are trained assassin cells. They are not going to uh, differentiate between the cell. Whatever cell they encounter the job is natural of the natural killer cell to kill them. That's why the name is given natural killer cell. They are naturally killers right. But there are healthy cells in the body. Natural killer cells should not kill them. So, in this case, those healthy cells showcasing this MHC class 1 means natural killer cell will not attack them. Right? So, if a cell is showcasing MHC 1 with a peptide, only cytotoxic or CD8 plus killer cell is going to recognize it. But natural killer cell are not going to recognize it as a threat. So, they will not destroy it. Okay. Loss of MHC class 1 triggers natural killer cell killing. Now, if the MHC that is being showcased by the healthy cells are somehow being clipped off or cut out with some experiment purpose, you can see that the natural cells, the, the healthy cells will be target of natural killer cells without the presence of the MHC class 1. That is very, very important. Next is the process of antigen processing and presentation, the mechanism with which MHC class 1 process and present antigen is something that you need to understand. And the mechanism is listed here in this image. Very simple, straightforward mechanism. Remember, this is endogenous. We are talking about endogenous origin. So, the peptide generation is the very first thing. And what happened is that the proteins degraded by proteasome. So here is the protein, virus or tumor antigen proteins being degraded by proteasome. The name here is LMP2 category of proteasome that degrades this proteins into smaller fragments. Now this peptide that is being produced is transported to the endoplasmic reticulum via transporters known as TAP proteins, either TAP1 or TAP2. Via the TAP proteins which are creating channels in the ER membrane is driving this uh, fragmented peptides inside the endoplasmic reticulum in, in the endoplasmic reticulum lumen. Then the peptide loading will be done. The fragment of peptide will be loaded onto the MHC class 1 that is already present in the lumen side. The peptide binding cleft, remember the peptide binding cleft of this MHC class 1 is facing the lumen, endoplasmic lumen side. You can see that here. Okay. So, the peptide will be loaded to the peptide binding cleft of the MHC class 1 molecule in the ER that will be done here. And then uh, they will take a vesicle with the MHC and the peptide and the vesicle will be transferred to the membrane and fused to the cell membrane. So then the MHC class 1 along with the peptide loading is now showcasing the peptide to the T cell. What category of T cell? CD8 plus T cell or cytotoxic T cell. So this is cytotoxic. This is cytotoxic T cell that we are talking about which can recognize MHC class 1 and the antigen loaded by MHC class 1. Okay. That's the very simple process of mechanism. Now, what is the role of, immune, uh, of this MHC class 1 in immune response? I told you that any endogenous peptide can be fragmented and loaded and showcased to the T cells, particularly CD8 plus or cytotoxic T cells. So, the viral infections are the response. So, it represents the viral peptides 
and CD, the viral peptides will be chopped and showcased to the CD8 plus T cell so that the CD8 plus T cell can recognize a cell which is virus infected and can initiate the apoptosis mechanism to kill it via perforin granzyme mediated pathway. Next is the tumor immunity. Displays tumor antigen to the immune recognition. So if a cell is undergoing any transformation from benign cell to malignant cell or even in a benign tumor formation that cell can also showcase that to outside and autoimmunity aberrant self antigen presentation can trigger the autoimmunity if the self antigen is absent if the mhc is not properly expressed by the nucleated cells then those healthy cells will be the target of natural killer cells and natural killer cells can kill them that is autoimmunity killing of cells self cells now clinical relevance starting with the immune evasion virus and tumors down regulate the mhc class 1 to evade the immunity because if mhc class 1 is acting normally then it is very difficult for the virus to spread from one cell to the other and also it is difficult for the tumor to grow so they uh, they evade that cancer immunotherapy this mhc class 1 is a target of cancer immunotherapy because this is a checkpoint inhibitors that enhance CD plus 8 cells response and we can use it okay, to kill the target cells and get rid of some extra cells right, during the growth phase of the cancer. Transplant rejection. Mismatch MAC class 1 between the donor and recipient will lead to T cell mediated rejection. If you put a false, if, you, if, if they don't match the graft that you take from a donor to the recipient uh, from from the uh, like to the recipient and as a result of which what will happen if the class 1 t uh, class 1 mhc is not uh, working properly there is a mismatch then t cell will recognize that foreign and they start uh, destruction of the tissue destruction of the uh, of the cells that is bad okay so the summary says the mhc class 1 uh, presents intracellular antigens or endogenous antigens to cd plus T cells or cytotoxic T cells. It is a central to immune surveillance and cellular immunity. Dysregulation of MHC class 1 impacts viral infection, spread cancer formation and transplantation. And uh, targeted, uh, they are targeted in immunotherapy and also in the transplant medicinal uses. So these are the summary for MHC class 1 molecule. I believe you have a clear idea about the MHC class 1 after this video. If you like this video, please hit the like button, share this video with your friends, subscribe to this channel to get more videos like that in future. Thank you. Bye.